I haven't washed my hair in a week. I look, feel, and smell like I haven't showered in a week. And today I wanted to bring you through my everything shower routine. Now I know that we all have our quick and dirty little quick pit scrub showers that we like to do on the daily, but every once in a while, for me it's about once a week, give or take what's going on, I like to do my everything shower. And this is my full scrub-a-dub, taking care of literally everything from head to foot. We are scrubbing it all and we are going to be feeling fresh and squeaky clean and looking like we have just emerged from a week of beautiful spa services because we're gonna be so shining. I hope so anyway. <laughs> I love seeing all of these renditions on TikTok and YouTube and please enjoy my version of the everything shower. Now we're starting over here in the corner of the bathroom to explain that I actually did get a head start on my everything shower routine and I actually put a little night serum in my hair. You could also start your morning, do your workout with a little hair mask if you wanted to, but trying to give my hair a good little soak, I put in the Kerastase Nutritive 8 Hour Magic Night Serum and I just drenched my hair in that. So I actually wore that in my hair overnight and it was also basking while I was at my workout this morning. So this is, this is needing a wash for sure, but I did put a little extra love in there. But to start, I'm actually gonna go to my face because before I go and do the showering part of the body, I like to shave my face. And I do this about once a week. It kind of depends like how bushy my beard is getting, but I did start shaving my beard in full force a few years ago and I have never looked back. I feel like it really just gives my skin the most beautiful, smooth look and finish. Makeup wears so well on top of it and it's actually a really great little form of exfoliation. So I start my everything showers with a lovely little fresh razor. I just buy the men's Gillette razors from Costco. I used to use the individual razors, but I just found myself, first of all, it takes a long time. Second, I accidentally nicked my face a lot using that. This is just very foolproof. It feels a lot more soft. Whatever shaving method you prefer, go for it, but I am a believer in the face shaving. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna apply my face cleanser right now. I'm using the Biosance Gentle Cleanser. I'm gonna give my face a rinsey rinse. Apply the cleanser. And I'm just gonna shave my face. I have absolutely no tips to offer you when it comes to shaving your face. I just kind of go about it as I feel, but I try to get my entire beard all on my chin and make sure to get the mustachio as well. I truly love the everything shower days for my smooth face. I love giving it a good shave. It makes such a difference. Now, two more things before we get in the shower. This is just something that I saw on TikTok. Do I believe that it does anything different? Do I believe that it's necessary? I don't know. I feel like if you're using a mask or a hair serum, you can probably stop it there. But I've seen a lot of girlies talking about how they put their hair oil into their hair before they go into the shower. And my hair is just, it's so dry. Honestly, it can use all the love that it can get, so I don't mind doing an extra little step before I hop in. Also love this look for me, love the bun. Okay, so I'm gonna give my hair a quick little brush and I'll take a drop or two of hair oil and just run that in the ends before we get in the shower and I guess it just helps it to be more healthy and less dry as you shampoo it and condition it, I don't know. I don't know what to say, I will try anything for hair health. And then finally, I'm going to give my body a good little scrub with the dry brush. I've said this before, but I do not follow a particular routine. I should, and I intend to learn one eventually, but for now I'm just gonna get naked and I just scrub. It kind of, it's kind of disgusting, isn't it? Thinking that your little dry brush just collects all of your dead body cells. How often do you change your dry brush? Please let me know. I gotta get naked for this one. Be pits, be pitting. <laughs> Now that we're all dry brushed, let's take our razor and head to the shower. And I suppose for me, one could just say that my everything shower day is simply my hair wash day because I have a lot of other little showers that I do in between my hair wash days. And then the hair wash day is where I do my real scrub through, scrubbing through the hair and the body. But then there's also the pamper nights and that's very different. That's like my masking special pamper, kind of like glowing spa day. That's different. The everything shower is just the, like it's still daily. We still gotta get it done quick lack and efficiently. So in the shower, I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm going to soap up and scrub the living scrubblies out of my body. I'm going to exfoliate and I'm going to shave. Sounds up. Mm -hmm. to the robe and now we need to hydrate. 
rehydrate the body. Now for the sake of modesty, I've already done my top half, but I am making my way through my stash. I am shopping the skincare stash and trying to make my way through some of the backups of products that I have. So currently my little body mixture, I have the Necessaire Body Serum, which this could very well be the last day of this. She has been beautiful. Then I have the La Roche-Posay Lipicare Lotion. Mixing those two together. We are on our last skirts. <laughs> Mix those two and then we'll just Oh no, I'm, los I'm losing my job. We're just gonna have to do without an aesthetically recorded lotion applying section because there's no way to do that modestly and unawkwardly for me. So, the limbs be lotioned. And at this point, my face is so dry, I feel like it's gonna fall off. I definitely need to do the skincare. Now, I don't wanna talk specifically too much about my skincare at the moment because I'm having a little rejig. My skin has been very angry with all the travels and being off of my routine, so I just need to give it a bit to figure it out. I'm actually booked in to see a dermatologist soon, and I'm excited to kind of have them go over some of the products that I am using, because I just wanna see. I feel like my skin has just been very angry with me for a hot minute, so we're reevaluating the skincare routine at the moment, and right now I'm just like going for ultimate hydration. Just trying to make it look wet and glowing and succulent <laughs> and soothe it at the same time because I don't know if you guys have noticed over the last few weeks, but my skin has been so angry. The zits have been popping, so we'll see. Winter is coming, Landmas is coming. We will definitely be doing a skincare chat very soon. But until then, we shall simply hydrate and see where that takes us. So now let's move on to the hair. And in honor of hair wash day, I actually wanted to try a little blowout that I was recently informed about. If you guys saw my last vlog, I was in Montreal and I actually met the new PR gal at Kerastase and she she's a model. She's a working model. She was positively divine to look at but she also had the most fabulous hair. And I was like, of course you work for Kerastase. Tell me everything that you're doing. What is the secret? And she was like, girl, I'm using the air wrap. And I said, that's fine. I use the air wrap too. And my hair does not look like that. Give us the secrets. And she was like this, the L'Incroyable blow dry. And I said, I have that, I have that. She's like, that's it. That's the only product I use. Put that in your hair and use the air wrap. So we're gonna try it today. Katrina, this one's for you, gal. Your hair is positively succulent. I wish I took a video clip of it. It needs to be seen by the people. I told her to also please deliver us a tutorial because, oh, it was so good. Anyway, so I'm going to put this blow dry cream into the hair. Then we're gonna give it a blow dry. No, no, I forgot my scalp serum. That is important because we are caring about scalp health this winter. Now we may resume blow drying. You know when people are telling you how to air wrap and they're like, blow dry your hair to 90%. How does one measure that? How does one know? I just start to see the front of my hair being very, very dry and I'm like, okay, that's where I shall stop. So I'm gonna stop there and now let's air wrap. So the only piece of advice that I got when it came to her air wrapping routine was that she does pin the curls after. I'm gonna go ahead and air wrap my hair and I will do my best to pin every curl as we, as I was to say, as we blow them, but, <laughs> well. Hot shot, cold shot, pin. Now how do you pin? Did that work? Oh, woo! I forgot that she actually did say that she does a little bump at the root before she goes through the whole thing. So let's do that. Okay. I just feel like this isn't what they meant when they said pin it. Something is going very wrong here. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this for so long. It's been hours. It's been 12,000 years. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm now late. <laughs> so I'm gonna unpin these because I need to deal with this immediately. This is why I don't wash my hair every day. Also, I get the pins get lost. <sighs> I personally prefer my toilet roll. It doesn't pull my hairs out. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna flip my hair upside down and throw some hairspray in it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna stay or if it's gonna hold, but damn, damn, as a fresh blow dry, whoa, whoa. I feel like I love the idea of a blow dry, but every time I do it, it's giving like desperate housewives, you know? I'm late now, so it's gonna have to do. Final two steps in my everything shower routine, my eye drops that you all lovingly recommended to me to help with my red eyes. These are the Lumify. I do use them sparingly, only on days like this where I am very tired and I need to look not very tired and it just helps to brighten up my eyeballs. 
pants. And finally, some deodorant. Lovely. I watched a YouTube once on etiquette and how ladies should act in high society and I thought it was hilarious. But the one thing that she said was that if you wanted to look more classy and put together, to only have your hair down on one side. And I've thought about it ever since and I'm like, so any who's in, that's my everything shower guys. I am the most clean, I am the most scrubbed and fresh. And this is a little look-see at what I do on my everything shower days, AKA also my hair wash days. And I'm so curious to know what you guys think of this blow dry routine. My hairstylist Armin and I were recently discussing that I think in order for this kind of blow dry life to work for me, I need to have put some shorter layers in my hair because my hair is quite long and just one blob length. So if I want that like PC, voluminous blowout. I'm gonna have to add a couple more layers, but until then guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. And please let me know in the comments down below, what do you have as part of your everything shower routine? What are some of the things you do? What are some of your favorite products? Please let us know. And thanks for hanging out with me during mine. Love you all and I'll see you very soon for a new video. Bye.